Hi there, First Presbyterian friends. It's Michelle. I'm standing in front of a different tree today. I thought for Palm Sunday I would show you this beautiful weeping cherry tree. And it kind of goes along with our scripture for today. In Luke's account of Palm Sunday, as Jesus is riding to the city on a donkey, he weeps over Jerusalem and its inhabitants, stating, If you had known, if they had only known that he was the Messiah, the Son of the living God, how would they have acted differently? And that got me thinking, if we had only known a couple of weeks or even months ago what our world would look like today, how would that have made us act differently? Would we have hugged that loved one a little tighter before we parted last? Would we have spent more time practicing peace, as Pastor Stewart talked about last week? Would we have taken time to seek out God in quiet meditation or reading His Word? Would we have spent more time with our children and less time at work? There's a lot that we don't know about what's going to happen in the next weeks or months. And there was a lot that the disciples didn't understand that Sunday as they walked with Jesus into Jerusalem. In John's account of Palm Sunday, it says that the disciples didn't understand what was going on and what was being said. Just like we don't understand everything about what's going on today. But there's good news. John says that after Jesus was glorified, his disciples remembered these things and understood the things that were said and the things that they had done and that they were in direct fulfillment of every bit of scripture that had been spoken about the Messiah. There's good news to celebrate this Palm Sunday, even in the midst of the unknown. And that good news is we know how the story ends. Jesus is risen from the dead. He has ascended into heaven and he's sitting at God's right hand even now. So I pray for you this holy week that you meditate on the scriptures and the sacrifice that Jesus made that we thank him for his love and for the victory that we'll all celebrate together next Sunday. I pray for God's protection on you and your family. I pray for his peace in your heart. And I pray for his love to surround you until we can meet again.